What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to eat tofu without wanting to kill yourself. Typically when we think of tofu, we think of a flavorless, gelatinous blob eaten only by granola crunching hippies that will also give you man boobs. This in fact is not true. For more scientific evidence on the benefits of soy and how many servings you should have each day, I will put a link in the description below. In today's video, I'll show you several ways you can use this high protein plant food to make really delicious recipes. Here's what you'll need for our first recipe. One half cup of almond milk, one half block of tofu, a berry of choice, I'll be using strawberries and raspberries, and your toppings of choice, I will be using chia seed and hemp seed. First, open your package of tofu and drain the liquid. Add one half block of tofu, some fruit, and one half cup of silk almond milk. Then blend until smooth and creamy. Pour into a serving bowl. And add your toppings. need two slices of Ezekiel sprouted grain bread, two ounces of tofu, one half cup of garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, two or three sun-dried tomatoes, and some nutritional yeast for flavoring, about a tablespoon. In a blender, combine tofu, chickpeas, sun-dried tomatoes, and nutritional yeast. The nutritional yeast is what's going to give it its cheesy flavor, so use about one to two tablespoons, or adjust due to your personal taste preference. And if you wish, add a little salt and pepper to taste. And blend. Spread your paste on two slices of toast. Now I like to keep mine just a little bit chunky, but you can make yours as smooth or as chunky as you'd like. Fold your slices together and heat in a nonstick pan, just enough to warm them, maybe two or three minutes on each side. Let's have a taste. Mm. Definitely has a very cheesy flavor if you use enough nutritional yeast. A quick way to whip up a high protein lunch, you can even make a larger batch, keep it in the fridge, then you are ready to go real quick. Super healthy, super nutritious. Mm. Very tasty. Next up, we've got General Sao Tofu. Here's what you'll need. One cube of tofu, coconut sugar, poison sauce, brown rice or white rice vinegar, coconut aminos or soy sauce, sesame oil, ketchup, green onion, brown or white rice, crushed red pepper, sesame seed, and fresh ginger. Begin by cutting your block of tofu into cubes. separate bowl, add one half cup of coconut sugar, three tablespoons hoisin sauce, three 
three tablespoons rice vinegar, three tablespoons ketchup, two tablespoons soy sauce or coconut aminos, and a dash of red pepper flakes. Heat a frying pan on medium and add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Slice four green onions and one tablespoon of ginger. on top of your cooked white rice. Top with green onion and sesame seeds. And there you have it, your general sao tofu. This dish is super flavorful, super delicious, packed with protein. Go ahead and make this in advance in large batches. You can store it in Pyrex containers, and it's a great grab-and-go dinner or lunch for at home or at work. There you have it, guys. Three tasty recipes to help you enjoy high-protein tofu. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and leave comments below, and we'll see you all next video. And if I let you down, it's you let me down